Okay guys, what you see here may look just like a couple basic seats, but these are a project that I've been working on for a few months now. These are, they start out as red 454 SS seats. They have the bigger bolsters on them. They're just basically a 1990 only seat for the 454 SS trucks and they were never in gray. But we found some factory gray fabric uh, that matches the gray fabric in the teal truck perfectly. And we had a company here in town in Kansas City do these for us and look at them. No one would ever be able to tell these were anything but factory. They even did the gray bases for us. So these definitely came out perfect. And we're going to throw them in the teal truck right now to kind of finish off the teal truck, kind of the cherry on top. And no, the gray seats out of the teal truck are not for sale. We are keeping those. But yep, so we're gonna put these in right now. Should be pretty quick. On these old trucks, you don't have airbag sensors. You don't have power seats. You just four bolts and uh, swap them out. Yep. So these are the seats that are in the teal truck right now. As you can see, they're just beautiful condition, gray bucket seats. We're gonna get these new ones in right now. All right, got the seats in the truck. Gosh dang, they look good. Can't even tell they're anything but factory seats. Freshy fresh seats, Steven. Oh yeah, they look brand new. Yeah, they do, they look Pretty good. Much are. Yeah, well, I mean, yeah, they are brand new seats. <laughs> Make sure you hit the subscribe button and the bell notification to let you know whenever I post a new video. Six gear, yeah, six gear. Maybe do the first one in fifth. See what it'll do in fifth. Is that 309 gear? Yeah, it's three, yeah, 308, 309. Probably I'll do a fifth and then we'll play six, see how it goes. Yeah. All right. I gotta count, right? There you go. Yeah, so I would, yeah, make sure it's all the way in first gear. It's just like a normal ZL1 when you have it in drive, it'll time out after a certain time if you don't fuck with it. to weigh the ZL 1500. We'll see actually what it weighs. I'm gonna guess 4,100 pounds. What's your guess? With you in the car? Uh, without, without me in it. Without you in it, I'm saying 
925. All right, there's the scales. We're gonna pull around, see what we got. Are you on that scale still? 4265. 4265. And we're that's race weight, 4455. And without me, 4265. Well, I was just 300 pounds off. I told you it's one bad decision. I told you it's heavier than what you think. Yeah. It's all steel. There ain't no ain't no plastic or fiberglass on this thing. But still, that's only probably a, maybe a hundred, two hundred pounds more than a ZL1. So we're in that same ballpark as far as weight total. All right, so first pass in the teal truck uh, went 134, which was great. Still spun. I think it'll have a better pass this next round now that I got the feel for the track and know how to do it. Uh, but yeah, good, good little first pass out of the teal truck here at Atlanta Dragway for street truck slash car takeover. So we're getting ready to run our first round of the 140 roll class in the teal truck. And the way we do the pairings for first round at SCT is we just, however the cars come in the lane, that's how we run them. And my buddy John came up here, who came from Kansas City with me with his blazer, like 10 minutes before I came in the lanes, and somehow we're racing each other first round. Like, that's just how I pulled in the lanes. So, pretty crazy. So, we're going to have the Turbo LS Blazer racing the ZL1500 first round. John's first time roll racing. It's a pretty sexy blazer. Check it out. John on some uh, 275 Pros for this weekend. I think he'll really love the drag radials. We got some good prep tomorrow, but tonight it's just rolls. Rolls at Atlanta Dragway. All right, so John, we got turbo, is it a six liter? Yeah, I think so. All right, so turbo six liter, blazer, probably weighs like, what, like 4,000 pounds or so? 42 or something like that, yeah. You ought to weigh it this weekend. Do they have one here? Yeah, they got yeah, one. I want they got a one. scale. Yeah. So, Pretty cool vehicle. John got it from up northeast yep. United States, up in Maryland yep. area. Yep. And uh, I personally watched this Blazer run a mid nine before at 150, so it's fast. It ain't slow, but it is uh, turned down a little bit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. To run the, the 140 class. Hell yeah. All right, well, John, we'll we're going to race him. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hey John, man, what you got a parachute on this thing for? You're in the 140 class. I'm gonna take it off. They don't need it. It's junk. Oh, okay. That's just extra weight at that point. Show purposes. Show purposes. Turn that on. Make sure. It, make sure it's a good angle. Oh, you should have aimed the GoPro backwards because yeah. I'll be behind you. No, hey, I want to see these tires shine. <laughs> you gonna pull, pull them through? Oh, hey. Oh, it's working. Hey, that'd be good. Boy, that's some old school Stain Killer Productions yeah. camera yeah. camera work right there. Hey, oh, all right. Yeah, that'll work out in our next pair. Oh, yeah. Kind of ish.
up to the next round of the 140 class because because John went too fast. Okay, so we raced John first round and he went too fast and I just I was spinning like that's all there was to it and and uh, so now it looks like we're gonna be racing another Honda. These Hondas, you gotta watch them boys in the Hondas, boy. They'll you'll be out on them and they'll just blow right by you at the end of the track. So we hope the ZL 1500 makes a nice A to B pass. So we're in the second round of the 140 Roll Class here at Streetcar Takeover Atlanta. So we're gonna be second pair this time. Looks like we're gonna be racing. Is this yours? And tell me about the car. Oh, it's all-wheel drive. Yeah, all drive yeah. Oh, we're racing all-wheel drive Honda. All right. The future, man, you know? That, <laughs> that, uh, that changes things a little bit. Yeah, for sure, man, for sure. Well, hey, man, it's a beautiful car. You, good luck. Well. Thank you, man. It'll be a good race. Thank you. What'd you go last pass? Just curious. Like 120 something, but I'm kind of working out. Yeah, you're like that. Yeah, nice. Heck yeah. So we got all-wheel drive Civic in the second round of the 140 class. Actually, a really clean car. Got the ZL 1500. The bed mat stayed in this time, so we're good to go. So this Civic that we're getting ready to race, last round he went 121 to eight. It's pretty damn fast. Honestly, it's a, probably a little bit too fast for this class, but and his re, his response was his car runs out of gear before 150. So he's kind of in a weird weird ballpark there, but. We're going to race this time. I, I think we'll probably end up getting beat here. But you never know it's racing. Anything can happen. Uh, but it is all-wheel drive, so traction is not going to be an issue for the Honda. Traction is going to be an issue for me, though. It's a little chilly out here, and, uh, you know, our, our radial prep guy comes in tomorrow. So the tracks, you know, it's prepped okay, but it's not great. And we're on these little uh, 275 Nittos on the back of the truck, making a lot of torque and a lot of power. But if we can get a good start, we'll give it a good run. If we can get close to the 140 range and stay ahead of them, I think we'll have a good race. Oh, he's got the laptop out over there. We're in trouble now. Okay, so we ran the truck the second round and we got beat by the all-wheel drive Civic. Uh, passed him right then. He's doing a little bit of sandbagging, but not bad enough to really take him out of the class. And uh, good race though, the truck shifted all through the gears really nice, It just but really good pass out of the truck and I think we're gonna do some drag racing with it tomorrow, see what it does. John, did you, did you ever think in roll racing that you were gonna beat the person but still lose? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> You must, you, you, were, you were, must have been sandbagging the first race. I'm taking it easy. Yeah. <laughs> I just wanted to give it hell to get to the beers. Here's what you gotta do you gotta build a yeah. faster car so you can have to get the bakery. Then you ain't not even worry about breaking out. And you, no, you should have been in the 150 class and you could have really just jammed that scramble button yeah. all the way down. <laughs> <laughs> give me through more. Larry, give me through more. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna tell you guys, I'm gonna need more. <laughs> You can't hit the scramble button at 1,200 feet. You know, it's no. funny, too, because, like, I felt like I mile an hour okay, you know, like, not bad. And then when we were coming down the return road, I was thinking to myself, I'm like, you know what? John was pretty good on me there. I think he might have went too fast. <laughs> and, <laughs> and, and I got that slip, and I'm like, oh, he did. Barely, though. Barely. Barely. <laughs> Hey, that, that all-wheel drive Civic is bad. The one I just raced. Yeah. Yeah, I went up there to him, and I was, like, talking to him, interviewing him with the car, and he's like, yeah, it's all-wheel drive. I was I almost just stopped recording, like, well, it's over. It's over. Anyone that all-wheel drives their Civic is bad. Keep that video going. about a foot race. Oh, we got a drag race going right here. Hey, I got $5 on left leg. Oh, hey, hey, hey. Hey, five bucks left leg. Five on the right. Don't lose it. Hey, 
The black car, way down there, way down. Go. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. 